Hi, this is Julie from New Horizons 123 and New Horizons 123 Production, which is the video marketing arm of New Horizons 123. I wanted to share a little tip with you today about how to take an image and make the background transparent if it isn't already. As you can see, I like to use a lot of dark colors, so if this particular image was sitting in a white background, it would look kind of funny. There um, is one site in particular, I'm sure there's more, I just happen to use this one. Presenter Media already gives you the option of selecting the image as transparent. And I, I use them quite a bit in my videos. But there are times I don't want to use the Little Pillsbury Doughboy, so I want to use a different image. And another program that I have that I subscribe to is iClipArt. So I'm going to show you for this tutorial, I've selected this image, and I'm going to download it. To my computer. Hello. Now make sure whatever image you decide to use that you actually have the legal right to use that because if you don't there is a good chance that you might be sued. That's happened before. Not to me but to somebody I know. So anyway I'm going to go in here and copy the image and the other program that you need again a free program is paint.net. Let me close this out because I already did it. I want to show you how to do it from scratch so let's do this close. So paint.net is an upgraded version of paint and it's very functional and it's free, something I really like. So let's do this. Let's do a new one. Okay, and I'm going to go, I had already saved it in my clipboard, this image here. So I'm going to go over to paint and I'm going to copy it in. Now the way to make this background transparent is very, very simple. Go over here into Tools, go on down until you see Magic Wand. Click on Magic Wand, go over to your image, put the cursor someplace in a background, and click on it. Then you're going to go up here and hit Edit and Cut. And there you go. Those white little gray and white circles mean the background is transparent. Sometimes images, when you go in and select the background, it's actually in pieces. So if this particular image had white over here, I would just go in and repeat the process, which would be again, let me show you again. That's to select the magic wand and put it, the cursor in the background, and then it was edit, delete. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image. I'm going to call it stress. The guy looks kind of stressed. And there we go. Now I'm going to show you how it looks in a PowerPoint because that's generally where I use my images in. So I have a blank PowerPoint open. I'm going to insert a picture. And it's that picture. Whoops, let's try that again. What does that look by selecting the picture? There we go. Okay. Now it's hard to tell from this if this background is actually transparent because the entire slide is white. So to show that it is transparent, I'm going to change the background color of the slide to black and there you can see that the image is transparent. Now if this was not transparent, it would look funny. And to me it would in, in a white square, but sometimes you might want to use that white square. It depends on what the needs are for your particular project. So that's how you take an image and you make it transparent. And for any other video marketing tips, please do visit my video marketing website. I've just recently put up a DIY section for people that want to do it themselves. Some people want to be able to do it themselves. And there are a couple of helpful videos in here just to give you an idea how to use Animoto, which is a great software free product. There's also upgrade versions available. You can make a video out of that very easily. Uh, this video here gives you examples of different types of uses of videos. Then there is video marketing tips and video emails. And there's a lot of pr pretty good stuff here for things for people that want to do it themselves. Why video marketing, branding, video commercials, which is a new product that I just came up with. So he head on over to newhorizons123production.com and drop me a line if you have any questions. Thank you.